Hi guys, welcome back to episode 7 of Transport Fever 2. Today's video, we got a lot more train building we need to do. I'll show you guys what the project is here shortly. But so far, this train line that we did put in, well, over the last two episodes, is making a $100,000 profit, which is compar comparable to our goods lines that we have currently running on. Now, I'm going back and forth with a lot of things that I want to do, but ultimately, in this episode, we're going to close this off right here. This one just needs to keep running half full. Uh, actually, before I get into what we're going to need to, we did unlock a new train, the General. I think it's the General. Let's go double check and make sure it's the General. It's the newest one. There, if we do buy vehicles. Yes, yeah, the General, the bald ones that we have currently. Uh, I'm not going to make the upgrade right now. No point. We don't need to move a little faster. We already are not running full. We need to start trying to run full. But anyways, the next logical hookup for our train line for passengers is down here to Merino Valley, right? We still got to stay on, le on level ground as much as possible because we don't have the higher tech trains that can go uphill, you know, have that traction and power investment that we need. So this is next. But the problem is, is that this is only a population of 56. And my current train size is 28, which is half the residents of Merino Valley. So we need to have this population grow. And after taking a look through, I think the first thing we need to do, actually we're probably gonna do both simultaneously or close to as possible, is we're gonna hook up uh, tools at the same time we hook up passengers. We may do tools a little bit earlier. It depends, but one way or another, we are getting both hooked up, tools and passengers. It won't be all this episode. We got a lot of infrastructure to do, but that is our current project. And we're going to keep working on that until it's done. I'm expecting, even if the passenger route is a loss, I'm expecting the tools to be a win. So hopefully they are a wash and we don't really lose that much money. Um, once these uh, road lines, uh, we get the upgraded vehicles where they can carry more and they're a little faster. We are going to see a little bit of an increase in profit. So that, that's coming down the road. So we don't really need to panic right now. All right. So what we're gonna do, get this tool thing started, is that we're gonna hook up this wood, or what is that? I don't, I don't know if it's really wood. What do they wanna call the resource? Logs, I'm gonna call it logs. All right, so Ventura Forest that produces logs, we're gonna hook it up down here to the San Bernardino Sawmill. It takes two logs to make one of these goods, and we always have options to hook up other, you know, logs to this factory if we need to keep up. So it's a very good place to go, plus, I already took a look at this. I already know the answer is, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. Uh, terrain level wise down here where we build our train, we're at 7.8. We would have to go a little downhill, but we're looking at about a five, about somewhere between around four, basically four meters above sea level. So it's not that much of a decline to pull this off. So I think that makes more sense to do a train than do a road line. I mean, I, I was thinking about, i just turn this off, it's a little easier to see. I was thinking about doing a road line from here to here, like just a little back way so they didn't go through the, the city. Uh, but ultimately I decided, let's put the train in. We can carry more logs over, pr probably making more of a profit than what if we would just take, you know, things over. But the real challenge becomes, what do we do after here? Because this good needs to get over here. Uh, going around the city, this side, I believe we'll have train issues. If I look at the train, um, yeah, we'll have some train issues. We'd have to go up, avoid this. I mean, not the end of the world. It would be pretty costly. We'd have to go around this city at a higher elevation. Then we have all this to deal with. And then, yeah, so this is really high. And then we'd have to put a station here, which means we would have to deal with this big, huge hill. When, if we go along the coast, it's a little bit more flat. But the problem with that is, is that this is on this side of the track and there's no way we are gonna be able to sneak that by here. So we actually need to come on the opposite side of this track. And the only way I've been able to figure this out is by transporting this by road, these goods, planks, they want to call them planks. It looks weird, but they call it planks. Okay. But anyways, and transport them down here and we'll have put another station looks like just this one, but it'd be for freight and have a little drop off center. So that way it just loads straight to the train station. We can do the line straight parallel with this. It would be very cheap because it's going parallel compared to putting in a new line. We would just extend this platform out too. Obviously there'd be no stop here. We already have this first line here reserved for the line that's gonna to go to Merino and come out through and then we'd stop and be able to unload right here. But the challenge we face then is how do we get this passenger line to sneak by without having causing problems. And the only way I figured it out is being able to put a, 
uh, four station platform down. Going to be a little expensive. Probably maintenance is going to be pretty little high on that. But ultimately, it's like the best solution I can come up with. Um, I think sometime down the road, I'll end up going out and around once we get better trains or better income. But right now, I think that's where I'm going to settle on and we'll see what we get. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you have more experience with this game, if you think it's going to be a good decision, bad decision, or indifferent, it wouldn't make a difference um, at the end. So let's get this started. We need freight. Cargo. We only need one line. Awesome. All right, we'll go right there. Tracks. All right, here we go, guys. Um, actually, we probably should make the station on the other side here. And since it's going to end, I could have put a, th a through, but uh, we're going to get, we are going to put an end on here. Let's turn the, the rotate around just so we can have it kind of going straight. So that's about close right there. Come on, attach. I prefer if I saw, you know what? Road. All right, I'm seeing it connected. All right, I just like I prefer to see it connected. It makes me feel better about it. All right. Out of curiosity, if I just like hooked the two up. Uh, obviously very expensive and it wants a tunnel all right cancel uh, let's start the other end because that's where i really want to start and i want to make sure i don't go uphill i stay on flat lanes as much as possible which already looks like a challenge this makes no sense you know what That just made no sense why it's Google out there. All right. So we definitely want to try to keep this flat. I don't want to go up. Ah, Come, we'll meet up with the road. That's going to be the most difficult part. Uh, we'll do what we can. Uh, problem is I don't want to have to go uphill, just go back downhill. But we're going to have to... That looks wonky as wonky can be. we fixed all video or the vehicles i guess i never did that did i usually what i do is i just like up the maintenance like the maintenance of them real quick until they get back to 100 percent, and then i drop it back down uh, but right now we don't have time for that we got to figure this out uh i don't like how the hill goes but i don't think i'm much of an option and we don't really have the surplus for me to really play around with it we are losing a lot on this route that is for sure all right i got past the Oh, that's like all, oh, that's like everything. Yeah, I knew that was gonna be a problem. 
I mean, that's not realistic. That's closer. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to go with that. I mean, it was already in the hillside. How much does that want to cost me? Oh, much better. Not as much earthworks going on there. Oh uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to take the hit. I uh, wish I could make it look better, but obviously I'm not gonna be able to. All right, we don't really need these anymore. We're gonna double track this. Uh, Cause we could, this, there's a high chance we're gonna need to have run multiple uh, trains on this line. I really wish I had the extra just smooth, but we just don't have the extra cash, guys. We just don't have it. All right. Flip around here. I tend to get a little quiet while building just because I'm, I'm concentrating on it. And... Oh, yeah. A little swerve is a little weird, but I think it's fine. We didn't show that it was going to slow down the train any. Let's put in signals. So that's in. Now he's got to get a depot going here. I need the best place for not as much. Let's see if we can sneak in one in here. I get as far back as I possibly can. Looks good. All right. Oh, that's actually not as far back as I thought it was. Can I sneak it one in? Uh, I don't think I'm, I think that's not as far back as I thought it was. Tracks. Uh, can I delete that from... Alright, signals. Let's fix that up. Boom. Boom. Alright. I think that will cause us to have no problems. Alright, by vehicle. We're going to go straight for the general because we are carrying car cargo. All right, so we got the general, and we're not gonna we're gonna have to get a loan. I really want to start paying stuff back, but I don't think we're not in a position where we can. Black car, there we go. One, good, mediocre. Can I get away five? When does it turn bad? Oh wow, okay. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, five. I think five. Six? I need two million to pull that off. I think six is gonna be the magic number. It's 42 one trip, which is gonna be allowing me to make 21 planks. We need to start paying this back. I'm gonna have to, I'm really gonna have to get to the point where I'm gonna let time run in between episodes, cause we are whew, turning guys. All right, there we go. Let's get a new line. I uh, definitely messed up because I probably should have the new line ready to go already. We're just going to mark it and send him on his way and then we'll rename everything. So the longer he sits there in the depot, the more money he's costing me.
Boom. All right. There we go. Production kicks up right away. That's what I like to see. All right. So we got uh, we got a freight line for logs to planks. We're, we're just going to keep it that way for right now. We'll rename if we get multiple lines going. I'll give you a brown color. All right. Speed time up because we really need to start repaying. Actually, let's repay now. Um, yeah, we'll see some stuff going on here. We are at 60 minutes, so I think we're going to see if this line makes sure it's profitable, and then we'll hook up as much as we can. This looks like it's going to be a three. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to be a trilogy, guys. Um, before it's all said and done, possibly a so uh, saga. A, yeah, saga. Right, that's what a four-parter is, right? Possibly a four-parter. Um, if uh, we can't get it done in three, uh, as we still need to hook this up for a new line then travel it out, then hook up to the tools, and then hook the tools up to go further out. And actually, Boise. Boise takes tools. Hmm. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? I think Boise's gonna explode. Anyways, are you full? Oh, you're kind of full. How much money? Let's see how much you make. Uh, I have it off, so I have to watch up here for the actual income. Come on. Come on, there you go. Boom! Ah, oh, that's a lot. That's a huge amount of income. A couple trips of that back and forth. Uh, we should be able to pay some of these loans off. Obviously, we'll start hooking up the next part, but uh, yeah. Um, we're gonna need another train to transport planks to the tools factory. So we do need probably another 2 million for that train. And that's not including the tracks, the station, or anything like that. So guys, I'm gonna end this one here. I'm gonna let this run back and forth. Uh, best thing about Transport Fever 2 is that you no longer need to hook this up to make money. It will constantly consume itself. So you don't need to really have it being consumed by something else. So I'm gonna constantly make money on this line, no matter what happens currently. So I'm going to pay back some of this loan. I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to pay it all back before I come back, but I'm going to pay off some of this loan to make sure that if I need to take more of a loan next episode, I am able to. And with all that said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.